Welcome to our classics mathematics lesson. Our topic for the day, we are going to look at algebra. When we talk about algebra, algebra involves known and unknown. We have numbers and we have alphabets. We have different subtopics in algebra. The first subtopic in algebra is simplifying algebraic expressions. The other one we have solving algebraic expression. Remember all these are subtopics in algebra. Another one is forming and solving. The other one we have evaluation, which we can also call substitution. You substitute the known and the unknown. The other one we have inequalities. This is where you use the greater than, the less than, or the equal to sign. But today, we are going to look at that first subtopic, which we have called simplifying algebraic expressions. What is to simplify a number? Or what is to simplify? To simplify means to make something simple or easier or even something big to become something small to deal or work with. For example, I have my notebook here. I want to ask you, which is the easiest way I can carry this book? When it is open like this or when I close it that way? When it is open or when I close it into something small? When I close it, isn't it? Because when I close it, it becomes something small and I can be able to carry it. But when it is open and I flap, maybe pieces of paper would tear up, isn't it? So, when we talk about algebra simplifying expressions, we have rules that we use or rules that we must observe when we are working out algebra. The first one or the first rule is put the like terms together, to put the like terms together. And this, Lana, is the main rule in algebra. This is the main rule in algebra. For example, we have the following questions I would like us to do or to look at so that we get to understand what that rule entails. The first question we have seen is 3C plus to C. By looking at that question, we have a known, which is 3, and a C. Let's say the C can stand for a cow. So it is 3 cows plus another 2 cows. Are they like terms? Yes. So we add the 2. This is 3 plus 2. I get my answer 5 cows. So I get my answer will be 5 C. The other one is 4x plus 2y plus 3x plus 3y. You are given, sorry, you are given that question. To work out this question as well, remember we are doing or we are looking at the rule which says we must put the like terms together. We put the like terms together. We see here we have an x, a y an x and a y. We need to put them together. Therefore, in this one, I come and I put a plus sign here. Why am I putting a positive sign here? A number, any whole number, which, especially the first number here, be, uh, if it does not have a sign before it, it is a whole number and it is a positive number. So this, I circle that number that way. Then I come to this one, I circle with the sign before it. So it is 2y and the sign before it which was a plus. This one as well and this one as well. Remember the reason we are doing this is so that we can be able to put the like terms together and put them properly. 